Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna go through my everyday makeup basket. Technically, it's a basket, but really it's a bunch of drawers for June of 2018. I just picked up this new acrylic set over here. It's similar to the one I have on the other side of my vanity. If you missed my vanity slash beauty room tour, I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards. That's where I show you the organization there. But since I got this new acrylic case and that's where I'm keeping my everyday makeup, I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys how I organize everything in here along with all the makeup I'm keeping in the drawers for June. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like everyday makeup baskets. And don't forget to check out the playlist of all of my monthly baskets I'll throw up in the cards above. And if you're not already, subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Over here to the left, I keep some of the palettes that I just am working on or I'm trying to focus on. I don't really stick to like a strict rotation when it comes to eyeshadow palettes since they are my favorite thing and I have so many of them except for my pan that palette my pan that palette is actually on the top of this shelf over here just so it's always within arm's reach and I always have it right there over in the actual acrylic organizers I have three big drawers four small drawers one's actually empty because I really don't have anything to put into it right now and then I have two drawers up here on the top that you can see right there. I keep little samples in there. If you missed my bite-sized reviews, that's where I keep all the products right there so that they're, once again, within arm's reach so I can try them out. And then that top drawer, I just keep products that either are new that I need to try out or that I'm gonna bring with me somewhere. Right now, there's a bottle of sunscreen up there just so I always remember to use my SPF and I'll probably bring that into our car whenever we go on our next, like, car trip. So starting on the bottom down here, I actually keep all of my hashtag drop 10 by summer products. I like to keep them together as much as possible. The only products I don't have in here are my eyeshadow primer, which I keep in another drawer up here, and then my Frasali Rose Gold Elixir that I keep by my bedside because I'm trying to use that more in like my nighttime skincare routine. The next drawer are actually products that I'm going to be using for this month. Okay, so in this drawer I'm keeping all of the foundations and well, one concealer, I have another concealer drawer that I'm going to go through, but I do have a concealer in here. But it's more because I do use it to mix in with a foundation. So, the first foundation that I'm keeping in here is my Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I have this in the shade Warm Nude. I absolutely love this. It's transfer proof. It controls my oils really well. But right now, it's too dark for me so I do have a lightener that I'm using with it. In the middle of the summer when I'm actually a little bit tanner, this is going to match me perfectly though. Next I have a little sample size of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I've only used this once or twice and I haven't really made a whole opinion on it. I think I'm still hung up on it's not like a perfect match for me right now color wise. So I'm going to try it out a few more times and see how I like the formula. Next, I have a combination that is one of my absolute staples during the summer. This is actually one of the first videos I ever posted to YouTube back last year. And this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir in 710 and the Dermacol Makeup Cover in 210. Mixing these together gives me the perfect super, super full coverage. Like, it's not light coverage, it's not medium coverage, this is full coverage. So I used this back when I had more acne, I had more issues with my skin, but I still needed a foundation to last throughout the day through sweat, through heat, through everything. And this holds up. So I do love this and I do keep it within arm's reach during the summer. The last product that I have is another new favorite of mine. This is the Chantecai Future Skin gel foundation. This is in the shade Alabaster. I'm actually almost done with this, believe it or not. Yeah, not a whole lot left. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this in the next couple of weeks, but I'm trying to make it last. But every single time I put it into my drawer, into my collection, I pull it back out because I absolutely adore using it. So I'm just going to keep it in my everyday drawer just until I finish it. First, I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I bought this before Tarte had their whole fiasco. I've not bought from Tarte since I bought this concealer, and I still have not used it. I'm going to try to um, pan this and finish up this concealer. It's not my favorite for my under eyes since it does crease so bad, but I can use it to spot conceal, and I've needed a little bit more spot concealing than normal recently, so I'm going to try and use this up. 
Next, I have two of the mini of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. One is in like medium one custard and the other one is in light vanilla. I've only used these once and I really haven't formed a full opinion on them yet. So I am trying to get more use out of them just to see if I do like this formula and the shades. All right, going back down to the drawer that we skipped. These are all of my powder products that I'm going to be working on for this month. For my loose powder, I'm bringing back out my Urban Decay Velvetizer. I put this in another one of my drawers, not my everyday basket, because I wanted to use it up. But since it wasn't in my everyday makeup basket, I wasn't reaching for it, and I still have a little bit left. Like, I can finish this by the end of the month if I actually just use it. So I'm trying to finish this one up. The same can be said of this Hourglass powder. I panned it, and I got a lot of pan in it. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. I panned it and did a good amount of pan, but then once I hit this point, I like stopped using it, which is ridiculous because I'm almost done. I could almost finish an entire powder. So I just need to go ahead and finish this up, especially since I think once summer hits, this is going to be too light for me. So I need to use it now that I'm the complexion that I am. Another favorite summer staple of mine is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is actually in the shade 001 Transparent, so it's more of like a translucent setting powder. And I love it. It keeps your oils in check. It just sets your makeup beautifully. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey. It's just an overall good powder that I don't think I could go through the summer without this powder. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm bringing back out a ColourPop bronzer that I got. This is in the shade... I actually don't know what shade this is because it's a little pan. Let me go ahead and pop this out real quick and we'll figure out what shade this is. Okay, so this is actually the ColourPop bronzer in Afternoon Delight. For those of you that don't know, there's a little hole that comes in the back of all ColourPop pans. If you buy them in the pan, you just stick a little paper clip, you unfold it, stick it in there, and then you can pop it out and in as you please. They're just magnetized. Pop it right. When I first got this, I believe it was way too dark for me, but now that it's getting to be, you know, warmer and I'm getting a little bit more sun, I think I can get more use out of this. So I'm going to try it out because I haven't used it enough to decide whether I like the pressed bronzer formula from ColourPop. For my contour, I'm bringing out this Smashbox Contour Palette. I bought this back when it was on sale at Sephora. It was only $17, which I think is a steal for this palette. I absolutely adore this contour shade right here. I don't really use the bronzer or the highlight as much. The bronzer is a good bronzer shade. I just find myself leaning more towards other products. And I really don't use this highlight shade. I really don't use many matte highlight shades. Even to set my under eyes, I've been going more for loose powders just because it makes the texture there just to look a little bit better. For my blush this month, I'm bringing out one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trios. These are actually on sale right now at Sephora and they're like $10 off. So this is definitely worth like the $20, $21 that it is right now. I would highly, highly recommend you get this. I have the trio in Peachy Love. And I absolutely love this trio, especially this lighter shimmery shade right here. I was afraid of blush for the longest time until I realized that I don't have to go with the hot pink blush that, you know, a lot of people really like. I think I look the best with my skin tone with more peachy or with more mauve toned blushes. And when I finally picked up a peach blush, I realized how flattering it could really, really look. So I am loving this palette and I'm going to make it my go-to for June. The last product that I have in here is a limited edition Becca highlighter. This one came out for the royal wedding. It is called Royal Glow and it is stunning. It's got the crown in it. Let me see if I can hold it like this. There you go. It's got the crown in it. It's an absolutely stunning highlighter. Very typical for Becca. And it's just the most stunning glow. So this is going to be my go-to highlight for the next month. Okay, so in the last two little drawers that I have, I just have a couple of small, not as exciting products. Over here I have some primers, I have some MAC Fix Plus that I keep in a little bottle because I like using little bottles better than the big bottles. I have two of these trial-sized Cover FX mattifying primers. I really love this primer. I had a couple of samples lying around and I realized I wasn't using them, so I'm going to put them in my everyday makeup basket just to try and finish them up. Same with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer sample that I have. I'm like halfway through it, but I haven't finished it, so I just need to go ahead and finish this one up. 
I also have two lip products in here, one from Smashbox and one from Bite Beauty. I know just from personal experience that it's hard for me to put a lip product in an everyday makeup basket because I go for wildly different lip products based on what my eye look ends up being. And I really choose my lip product based on my mood and based on my look and also based on what I'm going to be doing. So it's really hard for me to just stick one product in here to use. But these are both sample size products that I have not used yet. One is a very fire red lipstick. And the other one from Bite is a nice, just little dark nude color. So I'm putting these in here just so that I'll actually like reach for them and try them. Because otherwise they're just sitting in my collection and I haven't actually tried them out yet. In this little drawer right here, I keep my brow gels, I keep my mascara, my brow pomade, my eyeshadow primer, and my glitter primer. Let's go through those real quick. These don't typically tend to change, especially since I am panning one of these products. I have the clear brow gel from ABH. I'm actually pretty sure this is almost dried out. I'll have to pick up another one soon, but it is my favorite clear brow gel. My favorite tinted brow gel is the one from Ulta Beauty. This is the Brow Tint in Deep. It's got like the perfect size little spoolie on here and it's just the right shade for my hair. Love this two bits. I have two mascaras in here that I'm working on. The first one is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This one, I'm not a huge fan of the brush and how the way like the product clumps up right here on the end, but I do like the formula itself. I just kind of wish it had a different brush with it. And then the other one I have is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. And this one's okay. Again, I have a problem with how it clumps up here at the end, but overall this is a better brush shape for my eye shape. I always keep my tried and true NYX glitter primer within arm's reach. I love this thing. I use it whenever I place a shadow all over my mobile lid. For my eyeshadow primer, I've been using the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I am actually almost done with this. Like it's so close to being done. I've hit the bottom of the container. You can see all the way through it. So I am excited to finish this up. And last but not least, I have my ABH Dip Brow Pomade in Granite. It's got a decent amount of wear up there on the top. I do like a darker brow. We'll see maybe in the summer I might feel more like a lighter brow, but recently I've definitely been leaning more towards a like a black, dark brown brow. So that is everything in my everyday makeup basket for June. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these products, if you like any of them, or if you want to see a full review on any of these products. I could do that too by the end of the month. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!